I'm back. Pick the sausages, please. Thank you. Just me on my own out to the gold hoarders. I've got the reapers out of the way and I'm so relieved. Cheers, mates. Ship is ready. Let's go. <sighs> Alright, this one starts Old Faithful. I know it's an island not a lot of people like, but what the heck. So yeah, I've got my Reapers out of the way. That was a lot of fun, and I'm really having issues with them. Not so much the idea of them as such, but one thing I am having is that it is completely dictating what I do when a uh, solar flare is available. That's a robot over there. Someone go down. Ahoy. Oh, there it is. where I saw it moving when I first saw it, but what the heck. So, a lot of this mission is riddles. It's all marked up. Oh, wrong one. So anyway, I was just saying about the Reapers. Yeah, I got them out of the way, thank goodness. I did my last one the other night. Uh, not so much a problem with the Reaper missions themselves. The idea of them is good. But... It really dictates what I can do with Solar Flare, because that's pretty much everything we've, we've been trying to do when we're together as Reaper missions. Uh, leading up to this anniversary update, you know, we've had a month long to do them, so we've had more time. But I'm really getting irritated at having to do that many. Uh, you know, when, when you got the when you're back to the two week missions, but the only two week long. Then I only get to see him usually on the weekends, and at that point, you know, it's we need to get five reapers done. Only if we want the cosmetics, though. I wasn't particularly interested in these ones, but I'd got that many done already. So I would hope that something changes about the way the reapers work. I mean, it's, it should just be like a third merc and not a regular third mercenary mission, a little bit of everything. Uh, but just all really high tier loot, and you only have to do it maybe three times. I, w I would even say only once. I mean, people have their chance to have their chance to come at you then. Anyway, out doing gold hordes at this point. We're going to go to Old Faithful. And then work our way down. This one is the only one that's right out of the way. Everything else was almost nicely grouped. I 
I'm also trying to work on my solo commentary. I don't want to just blabber about anything. Blabber. So some of this may be quiet. I'll try to keep informed of my thoughts. Because that's apparently that's doing the thing. But often just loosening up is going to take experience. So, the first mission is a riddle on Old Faithful. Not a very popular island, I'm sure. It's like, kind of like a big formless mass, and when the game first launched really early, there was this common riddle that you couldn't solve because it didn't detect you as being on the North Shore. If I get to, I'm thinking now if I, you know, I could go over there for supplies, but if I get tons of supplies together and then get sunk, that's a waste of time. I'll only pick up as I go. And I've said this the last few videos, I think, but I do need to get a picture of the Reaper's Mark. Just so I can put it as a, next time I'm doing a Reaper's I can stick it up on the intro graphic for my videos. Do it this time, James. Do it this time, James, okay? Just find a ledge where you can get a good look at it. Or hopefully it'll be flapping in the right direction. I think on this end there is there are some cannons, so I'll go around the other side. And I'll actually get some wind. Not having to do the reapers in that reaper anymore is just such a relax just such a relaxing thought. Even when I'm doing cargo, whatever, in the meantime, you know, because we had so long to do it, I was always thinking, I need to get it done. Is solo going to be available or what? I don't know how he's going to, how it's going to work out for him. Uh, he's very busy. He flies a plane. A guy that turns left when you tell him to go right flies a plane. Um. <laughs> He says there are people. He says he says he'll batter out himself if he has to. So hopefully he can do that. Because again, I don't want everything. You know, but every time there's a new, every time there's a new set of mercenary message, missions and a new reaper. Really, we when we get together, we can only do the reapers. One thing about these reapers is that I've come to resent, actually resent the. The cosmetics that I got out of them because of all the trouble that it took. I need to remember that, but I'm imagining that now I've got the the hull and the sails, there's going to be a, a capstan, a wheel and some guns to go with it, and even a figurehead. And I'm compulsive enough that I'll probably have to... Uh, work out the missions and get those features. Get those, get get the full set at least. You don't want bits of a set, you want a full set. Then again, I don't think I'm ever going to properly use it. It comes down to a thing what I was thinking about ship customization is that there should be a lot more individual options. Like, Every ship has like a hull color with that band. You know, you can see the yellow, the yellow there, there at the front. There's like this band that goes around it, and you should be able to pick the color for that color. The this tarpaulin bit. You know, it's different for different ships, but generally you can mix and match. Even the symbols that go on the front. I still think that the two Reaper things on the Reaper hull looks like eyebrows. Like my my ship is very surprised. And that's possibly a fully repaired rowboat, so I'll have to 
pick that up. Now, whatever gun I take, I take the wrong gun, so we're just gonna go. Best jump ever, if anyone asks. to a great start. Hello. Hello. Just we echo say. It's amazing the amount of French that has actually come back to me. Now I need to check the ship is okay. Yep, I think we're okay. Right. Right, the first part never happened. That probably wrecked my rowboat though. Yeah, it's probably worse thick than the one I've Trying to pick up any extra, any any special missions. It's something I'm going to be really right. Find the northeast, northeast and twin trees. I'm not sure, but that sounds like a new riddle. Right. Either that or it's just the same because there's entwined, entwined trees somewhere around here. Is this it? Yep, that's it. Right, the skull pile at the peak. I was out with one ton, and we were discovering the little bits that they've snuck into the game, so I'm never sure if what I'm seeing is new, uh, is, is actually new, or whether it's always been there. It stems from that when they introduced, when they snuck in Wanderer's, uh, the cave at Wanderer's Refuge, whether it was always there, and we just never noticed it, because it's hidden really well. Ooh, that's nice, that red glow. Right, skull pile at the peak. Holds. Secrets and hold five paces north. Down you go. Ah, extra dig. Ah, hmm. I don't know if they're going to patch out the double dig. I mean, I can see why, you know, we're meant to be able, we're supposed to be digging really slowly. Maybe they could just increase digging speed a little bit, just to, you know, just say yes, we've taken away the super fast one, but here have a little faster digging. Right, 
Now, I want to make this clear, I might get attacked. It's simply part of the game. Uh, I am not the greatest at PvP. I feel more confident at it when I've got friends with me. Uh, I will try and fight, but if they sink me, you know, they sink me. I don't want to, you know, don't want that to come as a surprise. I'm not the greatest there is at PvP. But I think I'm going to be a little more conservative about where I put my loot. <laughs> that's sticky out there on the bowsprit. I mean, well, I guess they're going to attack you anyway. Yep, I'll just do that because I'm going to be an idiot. All right, that boat's probably no better off than mine is, so... This is probably going to take me into the into the cannons that I was wanting to avoid. Give it. A yep. So the next one is south to Sunken Grove. Seriously, a Marauder's Chest on a level 50 voyage. I'm disappointed. Oh, oh, that one looks good. Sorry, I, there's a little, like, a little bridge bit there that I can see. And I thought, hang on, that's, that's, that's a feature of uh, Sunken Grove, isn't it? There are places around here that have got these rather snazzy rock formations. And I'm wondering if they could be used for a race. Kind of like a racing track. I think you I think you'd set one up on Shipwreck Bay if you had a if you had an, if you had two two rowboats. There's a ship over there. These are arranged in order of proximity. I mean, they'll probably try or hook a good mast, so I'll be going to crack and fall enemy. It's one way or the other. Okay. They did say that they were going to resort the mission system, how missions are selected, how missions are generated. I don't know if that, they, there was a wee sneaky update, so I don't know if maybe that's done, because that seems fairly well ordered. But I'm not going to make a mystery of it.
three skull totem here, I think that should be. I don't feel like I'm running that fast. East on the skull totem. East by northeast. One. When I first started the game and everyone was higher up, was higher level than me, and they would put their missions down and they'd have multiple X's and all this kind of stuff on it. It seemed like they had constant captain's chests, and that's the old captain's chests. You know, the ones that were actually worth some gold, Mr. Nate. But I would but I was low I was only a low level at the time. They were all, you know, grinding the whole thing. They were way up there. And you know, I'd off to put down a mission, put it down, and when they saw it, they'd vote it off the table into the waste paper basket and probably set fire to the waste paper basket. Yeah. Whose stupid mission was that, they'd ask? The funny thing was, when I finally became, uh, when I became a pirate legend, eh. Uh, I saw a box here. When I became a pirate legend, you know, I thought, great, I'll buy a mission now, and I can put down my voyages. And my voyages were still rubbish. I always wondered, was there something I hadn't done? And here I am getting marauder's chests, and... On a level 50 gold, on a level 50 gold. And it makes me doubt whether I'm level 50 sometimes. Okay. What are we up to? Oh, sorry, it's bananas and I need to put them in. Okay. Done. I think it's tri rock. We'll risk it. So shift in that direction, maybe crooked masts would be smarter. Whoa. I yeah, I think like zoom zoom zoom. Well actually. No, I think try rock Krakens then crooked. Sorry, I'm reevaluating my strategy. Even as I'm trying to use the strategy. I think that they may well be headed straight for a fort in order to tool up. Well, no, that doesn't make any sense. Because they were heading that way. 
Well, they might be near there, Skullfin. It's no longer what I like to do because it's. Uh, you know, when you set off and you immediately head for a fort and you tool up because it, it takes, takes an awful lot of time. I think more often than not, I've finished with a fully stocked ship, if that's the case. And battles are not all that common. Especially not if you run. I tried to get that graphic down there at the bottom uh, to signify whenever I had a video with a fort in it, but uh, I just can't get one big enough, and it doesn't really look all that telling as a fort. So I just tried. I just went for the skull instead. Again, I'm not trying to blabber. I'm just trying to get good at talking to myself. Tomorrow's stream, I'm thinking, is all going to be about. Well, it might. Did they talk about the arena? They did fishing? Cooking? I don't remember anymore. It's, <laughs> it's felt that long. But they might be talking about tall tales in tomorrow's stream. Well, it'll be today's stream by the time. Oh, Meg. 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 Unless it's the white one, I'm not bothered with it. Banjo kicks up. Oh, oh, I've missed my turning. But that should throw him off the scent for a moment. I would like to dive the wreck, but that shark's going to come back. And there is another ship in the area, I don't know where it's gone. The banjo's still with me, so so must the shark be. When, we, when me and my friend Jeff first heard the banjo, I tell you, we were crawling all over the ship thinking we were following a clue and it got louder the further up the mast you went, so we were wondering what the heck was going on. This isn't... Um, okay, I might have taken a wrong turning somewhere. Damn, it's behind me. Oh, points off, James, points off. What's that? Nothing. Almost west. Must be that one. I still believe the rule is you're faster flat sailing against the wind.
when this mission finishes I'll be near nicer waters. I don't like the wild, it's my least favourite area, because it's so dreary. me or was that a bigger explosion than normal? Right, what is it? It's a bottle quest. I don't want bottle quests at the minute. They still haven't brought in that ability to chuck off quests you're not interested in. I'm sure there's some people who are stuck on this... Oh. Obsessive compulsive people who are stuck on the game sometimes, because would you not? Alright, I would swear that the skeleton spawns on these wee islands are ridiculous. Right. Let's just run over down that corner. they said they were going to do was that they were going to make the riddle voyages more worth it because it was a lot of wandering around for just one chest. Everyone focused on the X's with multiple chest with multiple X's, all the maps with multiple X's. Jump the invisible step, get that in there. And next is Krakens.
it right on top of it. Make sure that's up. Oof! Literally right on top of it. Okay. Go right to the bottom. I saw a chest there. I didn't pick up what it was. Oh, a few skulls. Oh, and a box of tea. And my ship is very handily parked. It's almost like that scene in Top Gun where the two planes are like upside down beneath one another. Well, one of them's right side up, the other one's upside down. It's just showing off. So we've got ten cans, I think we go in there. Back down we go. Look at that. What would take what the sea gives? you get in the bottom of a lot of things. Oh, there's another skull. I'm pretty sure there are some pretty compulsive people who cannot finish a single game because they just keep because they keep picking up bottle quests. I did once join a game and it's just a random game and the guy had just left and his mission wheel was like two two th I'd swear I'd swear it was three cycles of bottle quests that he'd left us having cashed in, whatever it was he'd got. Oh, I think that's everything. That's pretty cool. I've got this on and go take one more look. There is at the very least plenty of bananas down there. Oh, and I can put these away. I am... No, open. I'm compulsive enough that I feel the need to only put in full numbers of things. Don't mean to be, it's just the way I am. It's not like I'm massively, obsessively compulsive, but I have my weaknesses. I see you there. Don't know what you are, but I don't want you. I think we've had our fill. Out of here. Back to the ship. On with the adventure to Kraken's Fall. Uh, forward thinking of me, I put the... I Put the anchor up and forgot to tell me. I can put 
them in there. Them in there. No, I can't because <laughs> I'm going short. I'll find some here. Again, I'm aware of the need to keep talking. There's a ship over there. Just behind, way, way in the distance. But uh, I don't want to force it. It wanted me, the map obviously wanted me to come here. It wanted me to come there, and then here. But I outsmarted it. If you didn't think I was going to be that stupid, then technically I outsmarted you. Piggy. Snake. Wrong one. The X on the shores of the East Bay. I think that's crossed bones or something. I've got something here. for the X on the shores of the East Bay. Oh, that's it over there, I think. Oh, no. And I didn't bring any ammo. But that's okay, we can improvise. Game, I know what I'm doing. Release the knowledge with a song. What on earth? Um, okay. Just checking. Evil spirits. Southeast. Yeah, I can see the ship there to the right. Paces south. It's pretty tight.
Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. There we go. If you're wondering, yes, I know about the ability to, you know, drop and pick up, and they see how fast it is, but... Too, it's, too, it's too much timing trouble. It's too finickety for me. Even though I've got the creative wood, I'm not doing it. And I can't vote it off now, it's on my list. I, well, it'll expire, which is the which is good. But it bothers me that it's there! Just give me the ability to highlight it and press B to discard. I mean, you let me do that with regular missions. Again, I suppose when you do any post anywhere, suggest anything, there's always going to people like, uh, you know, Pirate Legend did it the old-fashioned way. Real Pirate Legends would have, wouldn't have voted, voted off the bush, they would let it sit there and burn a hole in your mind with worry. Pirates are becoming softer these days. Didn't used to be able to vote off unwanted missions in my day, no, you had to sit there with them on your, your voyage list. And stew! Hello, Snake. Well, I'm not interested in stewing. I was at my own yesterday, finishing off my last Reaper, and I felt I was a little bit shaken. J just cause I tried three times in before the f before the one actually worked, and was each time a ship immediately came for me. You know, just launched. They could see I just launched, but they came right for me, looking for trouble. Um, I, what I was saying about that is that I don't feel my commentary got a good exercise. So you just let me highlight it. Maybe. Bring it up. Look at it and if I don't want it, hold B. And it can have like a, a vote system. So many people have voted to cancel this mission, this voyage, that boat there, you know, the, that bottle quest. Or, you know, it could be a function of this tail if you wanted to be more involving. But I think I'd like that. You hold it up, you hold B, and if everyone agrees, it's like you scrunch it up and then throw it away. I thought that was the, you know, when you sh when you shift server riddle, because it's got boundless sky and treacherous sea, and this has got between the sky and the deep blue sea. Right. Let's try and keep the wind. I did bake some chicken earlier, so I'm going to have that with chips 
fries, as you may call it in a minute ago, and vegetables. So I'm looking forward to that once this mission's done. And our next stop is Crooked Masts. It's got that flame on it that was not as difficult as Wanderers. The throne on Wanderer, uh, the throne on uh, Marauders. I have to say, we we got that done as difficult as it looks. We got that done because there's a big blank wall behind it. You can aim for. The throne on Marauders was much more difficult. Mind you, there's, there, there's some luck. Yeah, caught my feet. Some luck involved in that. You know, I'm sure some people got it first time and were like, oh, first time! Woohoo! Right, at the three painted tentacles. Is that it? I think it's. Here. No. Oh no. You had to bodyguard the keg, didn't you? There we go. Ringing in my ears. I made down there. Okay. The three painted tentacles. There's somewhere around here. Ay! Now I can't see. Ten paces west by northwest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Running, running, running. Wait a minute. Didn't I say to myself that I wanted all this stuff up? Ugh. Okay, we'll leave it the way it is. But I was thinking, you know, get it on the rowboat, get it ready to go, keep it near the rowboat. I think it's mm, southwest. I 
again get a picture of the Reapers, James, but let's try and get a nicer skies. What? A skeleton ship. And we need to be way southwest. Well, let's go. There's an island, and I think it might be an uncharted one. That's good. I don't think the skeletons exactly know it's there. Too high to her. Oh, it's the wheel one. Oh dear! <laughs> this isn't good! This is Whoa! This isn't good at all! Southwest again. No, nope, that's it. evasive action there, James. Right side of the little bit four.
got bored and left. There's a galleon on the far side of this outpost, eh, uh, fort, and I'd rather give them time to go by, because I don't want them to think that I'm coming for them, because I don't want to come for them. And that's my island over there. Looks like they've changed direction. Good. Maybe they saw my terrible sloop coming and they thought... <gasps> well, maybe they've gone for the fort, more likely. No, I don't know where that is. I don't think it's going to be anywhere I'm going to be going. Nah. I'm wondering if they're prowling around the fort. I don't think so. the sniper. I got you anyway. People do say, you know, dump it on the shore till you're ready to go, but... <sighs> okay. I'm not a big f fan of this pistol, but it does have that nub at the end.
I bring my, if I bring my blunder, then I'll need a pistol or a sniper. And two down the bottom. Uh oh. The spawn in these wee islands. Yeah. Yeah. So I was seeing people say, you know, dump at the shore till you're ready to go, but what if you have to flee and your stuff isn't aboard? Honestly, and your stuff isn't aboard. I mean, I was thinking about server mergers and losing it, but uh, servers only merge when you're when you're on the ship and your anchor is down. Don't you dare! I said, don't you dare! I'm not a terrible shot. Just had some bad shots. That counted. Right, switching back to my regular. Right. One more chest to get. Just after these? Not bad. Oh, brother. There we go. Any damage? Nope. Nearest outpost. Plunder. So, south? Maybe we'll get attacked. See, I'd like to end up in the nicer water, so it's either plunder or ancient isles. Plunder would be preferable at slightly less of a sale. And again, make it into a fight. I guess they're kind of equal. Oh. 
ancient spire has the benefit of being in the opposite direction, though. What are they doing? I don't even know if this is a good idea. I may not even save time unless I do an anchor turn. Uh, uh, sandbank, 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 sandbank. Every time. Ev. Uh, aren't you on the wrong side of the boat? Forty-seven. That's poor for the Marauders. I wonder if they've adjusted the price of these relative to the captain's chest at last. It's been a while since I handed in a gold hoarders. There's actually some sort of commendation for the barnacle chests like the one back there. But I'm not I'm not a commendation person.
Right, note to self, keep everything close to the rowboat so it's easier to load up. Again, you get all these unloading issues with that robot. No, no, no. No. Yeah, you push off. Again, not impressed. Captain's issue to be worth a thousand every single time. They, you know, building the skulls are still a thousand almost every single time. That was worth almost as much as a captain's chest. You're having a bad time sinking. I mean, I wouldn't argue that, like, the drunken chest and the weepy chest are the a thousand plusers of the of the treasure chests, because you you also get special skull variations like the stronghold captain and the and the pirate ship captain skulls. Nice. I mean, for a, for a box of wood containing wood, that's extra wood. You get more than a captain's chest. Right. Sun's coming in the windows, so it's time for me to leave. Uh, thanks for being here. Just trying to, you know, get used to solo commentating. Uh, until my friends become available. So, cheers. <laughs>